I never understood what she meant until I failed. I can close to being dead people plenty times. But it was by the grace of God that I'm still alive. I'm in need of your protection and protection I done came a long way from how I used to be When people see me now they can't believe that it's me That's why conversations ain't the same anymore uh, You can tell how I talk that I love the Lord I'm in church every Sunday like clockwork I even bring my family and friends to my church My mission is to save souls and touch lives Missionary trip minister and worldwide You see my talents and my gifts so I can be to you Be somebody that they can respect and look up to A role model like my Lord is Jesus Christ, Jesus who Christ. never hesitated to help save a life. Listening to Girls Live Worldwide Podcast. Can you feel the power? Higher than Power 21. He's been often imitated, never duplicated. Some call him the David Letterman of late night. Some call him the Arsenio Hall of Gospel. Feel the power. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power a double X. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Like clockwork. I even bring my family and friends to 
my church. My mission is to save souls and touch lives. Missionary trips, minister and worldwide. You see my talents and my gifts so I can be to you. Be somebody that they can respect and look up to. A role model like my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus who Christ. never hesitated to help save a life. Podcast. You're listening to Buzzer Power 21, Christian Media on Late Night Radio. All participants are muted and they can unmute themselves. What's up, family? What's up, what's up? It's Positive Power Time. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you. I hope you had a fantastic Wednesday, hump day. And I know you probably caught some of that Empire tonight, grand finale. Yeah, I heard it was a good one. Shout out to Charles D. Clark. Charles D. Clark, my spiritual brother. Congratulations on the season. I think it's season. I forgot what season in power. But anyway, congratulations to the cast of Empire, my spiritual brother. All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome to Positive Power, Double XI Christian Media. And you're listening to Jerry Boys Live Worldwide and my co host tonight. They call her Pro Savvy out of Cleveland, Ohio, Patrice. Jackson, yes, yes, and a special guest tonight. We got superstar coming here. We got Phyllis Sosa Lorenzo. It's gonna be here. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I'm your host, aka Batman of Charm City, Batman of Late Night Talk Radio. Jerry was live worldwide to Positive Power Double XI Christian Media. And we all need to be lifted up and encouraged at all times. The Bible is a great source for encouragement. The Bible is a living word of God. It feeds us through the promises of God found in Scripture. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Always be full of joy. 
Always be full of joy in the Lord. I say it again. Rejoice and let everyone see that you and self is inconsiderate in all you do. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God your needs. And don't forget to thank you for his answers. Because if you do this, you will experience God's peace, which is far more wonderful than the human mind can understand. His peace. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding with God your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't forget about total life changes. Lose five pounds in five days. Dot in forward. They got a host of nothing but great weight loss products to help you succeed. So get your weight loss on now before January 1. That's right. You want to get started now? That's right. Eat some nuts. It's good for you. Lose five pounds in five days. Dot in forward. Check it out then at Watson. And also, Misfits, the Miracle Revealed by Jessica Double A. Highsmith, Penn Alex J. has been released. Tell him, robot. You are listening to Gary Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. That's right. Misfit, the Miracle Revealed by Jessica Double A. Highsmith, Penn Alex J. The book has been released on Amazon. We'll make sure we get that to you soon. But check it out on Empower Me Books. EmpowerMeBooks.com Empower Me Incorporated Nonprofit. they be celebrating the celebration of miracles on January 20th in North Carolina. The door of North Carolina. So if you're in the area and you want to check it out, you want to be part of that activity, you want to be a vendor, you got CDs, you got DVDs, you got books. Join in the celebration of miracles. All right? There's going to be a lot going on. Dinner, speakers, you name it. Don't forget about WealthDadSystem.com. It can be your vehicle to success. Don't allow others to set the height of your dream. Aim as high in the clouds as you can go. Don't forget about Re, superstar gospel award-winning artist. That's right. You can pick up a single in the middle of it and broken on Amazon.com. Just look for Re, R-E-E, in the middle of it and broken. And also look for instrumental. Awesome, awesome. All right, thank you, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Double XI Christian Media. You can catch us on Spreaker Radio, YouTube Live, iTunes, and right here on Facebook Live starting at 9 o'clock, Monday, Monday, Wednesdays, and Thursday, Friday at 11.30, and a brand new program called Next Man Up. Featuring Dr. Paul Kelly and Jerry Boys Live Worldwide at 10 o'clock after Pastor Jack. Catch Pastor Jack. That's right, catch Pastor Jack. 9 o'clock on Saturday morning. Happy hour, Pastor Jack. He talks about religion and politics. That's right, he mixes the two. <laughs> so come check them out. All right. All right, what's up, what's up? Evangelist, what's up, Alana? Bonafide Talk Radio, what's up, Denny? What's up, Miss Wendy? What's going on, everybody? What's up, Superwoman? What's up, Mr. Appointed? Dr. Chanel, what's up, Bree? What's going on, Dr. Kelly? Hey, hey. All right, everybody, we ready to get our praise and worship on? Praise the Lord, praise God in His sanctuary, praise Him in His mighty heavens, praise Him in His mighty deeds, praise Him according to His excellent greatness, praise Him with trumpet and sound, praise Him with flute and harp, praise Him with tambourine and dance, praise Him with strings and pipe, praise Him, praise Him. Almighty Father, creator of heaven and earth, everything in between, we humbly come before you in thanksgiving in our hearts. Asking for your never-ending mercy. We lift your name on high above any name that ever existed. Our Father, our Creator, we ask you to bless and protect and to pour your supernatural favor upon us. Our children, our spouses, our friends, our co-workers, our neighbors. God, we ask you today for divine intervention in our lives. 
We ask you to touch in all areas of our lives. Be a new job, a promotion, freedom from debt, rebuilding of our relationships with our spouses and our friends, Father. In any situation you touch, we believe it would never remain the same. Father in heaven, let your will be done in our lives. This season, our lives is the best and will always be the best. Please, please send us double portions of anointing and blessings in the quickest time as your name is being worshipped and glorified in multitudes in the name of your Son and personal Savior, Jesus Christ. And God is going to shift things and let things work in your favor, people. My brothers, my sisters, God closes doors no man can open and God opens doors no man can close. If you need God to open some doors for you, Call on him. I am that I am. All right, everybody. We're going to have a great show. Great show tonight. Like I said, we have some great guests tonight. Uh, come, Mr. Mr. Irby. Thank you, Mr. Irby, for hooking us up tonight. And the first up tonight is going to be Phyllis Sosa Lorenzo. And then we got Justice Superstar Richardson going to be joining us shortly right after her at 10 o'clock. So we'll be talking to her at 930. But meanwhile, let me bring on... Miss Pro Savvy. What's up, Pro Savvy? What's up, Patrice? Hey, Jerry. How are you? <laughs> I had too much coffee today. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be on with your energy is on 10. Yeah. And I was, and you know, I, I was flatlining the day too, boy. I was at work. My buddy came in to say goodnight. And he was like, man, you tired, ain't just it, bruh? <laughs> you just don't know, man. <laughs> Then I had to try to make my way out to pick up my daughter from track practice. And um, luckily I had some Tic Tacs in the car. That little bit of sugar gave me a little bit of rush. Yeah, I'm all good. So how you feeling? What's up? What's going on? I'm all good. I cannot complain other than um, it's about to snow real hard. Well, it already started snowing. Really? So. You know what? Uh, it's snowing real bad here in Cleveland. I saw in the forecast that we were supposed to be having snow, really supposed to start th- Wednesday into Thursday. Then they said Thursday during rush hour is going to start up a little something. But they didn't really say how much. You know? They really didn't. So I was like, okay. And then yeah, I, this, I checked the app and yeah, I didn't see nothing. It's getting badly said on Facebook. A lot of people have been saying that they was taking taking them hours to get home so wow. i'm just thankful i work from home wow, from, because so, i am not in the mood so in the cleveland area they saying it's taking people hours to get home that's bad yeah like i know my one friend she lives and she lives close to me and she she's a notary and she had to do a notary maybe about 30 minutes away and she said it took her an hour and a half wow okay i'm looking at our forecast oh that's mm-hmm. boy <laughs> That's not that far from here, though. I always look at the wrong city. I don't know why my dog on phone will never go back. Man, I'm looking at Orlando. Okay. Where's my area at? Where's my neck? Of the- okay, that's close enough. Okay, it, we're supposed to get snow now. It's supposed to be snowing now, but at 10 o'clock, it only supposed to be 40%. And then that's it. At one time, they said it was going to snow during morning rush hour. So, I don't know. I've seen them treating the roads today. You know how you see those little lines, like they put some kind of chemicals down? I guess it depends on what kind of snow. Oh, yeah, yeah, so the snow won't stick. Yeah. So or get black uh, ice. Yeah, so obviously, you know, because the temperature is below freezing right now, usually we don't get snow when it's, like, below 30, 35 most of the time. There got to be some moisture in there. It's cold. So the good news yeah. is, let's see, it's going to be, when I take the puppy out, it's going to be 32 degrees. I can, I can handle that. It was, like, 25 degrees this morning. <laughs> but she wanted to hang out there. Wow! Too. I put. I made a mistake. Yeah, I went out during the middle of the day just to run to the store, but um, I'm bundled up in the house now. Yeah, <laughs> good for you. Yep, it's cold. It's been windy. We had like wind blew my one of my decorations blew down. I gotta go find it. <laughs> Wife says it's up on the roof. <laughs> I said, all right. I said, go get the ladder. Oh wow! I said, the ladder it was really windy. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of windy. Yeah, it was our reef, our big reef that lights up. Blue blew off the the uh porch so i said oh well man that's just gonna tell you what kind of weather we're gonna get this year you know when you get the signs now you know right before christmas that's like your clue so mm-hmm. yeah i don't need to bring that mm-hmm. this way yeah we're getting snow showers that's what i'm looking <laughs> at now yeah I, I can deal without the snow I'll, I'll be really happy without it yeah 
But we went a long time without it, though, so I can't complain too much. Yeah, that's right. Cause we did get it this weekend, and it was kind of sloppy stuff because – I think they didn't really know what we were going to get, so they took a long time. The crews were out there, but they weren't doing anything. Like, they was fixing their trucks or something, <laughs> you know? Oh, wow. Oh, you know, this is crazy. Now, I did find out, I, I just found out Aria, the app for Aria, and it's actually supposed to snow, it's snowing now, and it's supposed to snow to 12, midnight. But what's crazy is, I was looking at the other areas the south, south, of, south of us, and they supposed to get snow mm-hmm. flurries. I said, we're getting actual snow. I should have checked another area north of us. What happened in the snow must be coming from the north, which is coming from your direction. So that's what the deal is. Yep. Yeah, so we're sending it your way. Yep, it's coming from you guys. So obviously I should be looking at New York then. That's what I normally do. I usually, instead of looking at D.C., I look and see what's going up up in New York. Because, you know, my grandmother was living there. Oh, it's actually, yep, it's supposed to be snowing in New, New Jersey. Up until, oh gosh, they're going to get snow all day. <laughs> Almost up until 8. That's how we're supposed to be overnight tonight and all day. No, I think till like 1 or 2 tomorrow. Yeah. So. Okay, so that snow is stopping at 8 in New Jersey. Uh, I was trying to pull up New York, but I must have deleted that. So I was looking at New Jersey. So they're they going to get their share. So who knows what's going to happen with us, you know? Who knows? Because mm-hmm. Ocean City getting snow right now, and they're not too far from us, but they south of us though. So I guess it's gonna go down there to the Eastern Shore. Oh well, well hopefully they they take care of that by the time we leave out in the morning. You know. Yeah, yeah. that's the big thing. As long as the, you got a good street team, yeah, it won't be no clear closing. streets for people that need to get to work. Yeah. So did you have any exciting guests on your show this week? Um, yeah, I did. I had a, um, a, a lady here from Cleveland named Sharita Carthon. Um, her husband is actually a musician, Mark Carthon, mm-hmm. and she's like a branding specialist. So we talked about branding and purpose and, um, you know, overcoming some of the obstacles that she learned from as a child because she actually lived in New York for some years. Uh, so it was a really, it was a really good show. A lot of people were inspired by it. So yeah, I was happy cool. to have her on. Yeah, that's awesome. It's good to have some. We had a great guest on Monday. I mean, it was. I mean, I had to say he was a great guest because of his story, but his music was really good too. He had this song called um, "Seeds of the Field," written by him and his son. His son actually was killed this summer. Him and his cousin. So he lost his oh, son wow. and his nephew all in one summer to gun violence. I guess it was gun violence because they actually have a movement that's been going on while you know while his son was in college and he came home from school. On his summer break, and was he never really got into what really happened? You know, whether it was you know gun violence or he was he got caught in a crawl. He didn't really say what happened. He just said he you know he, you know right now he's this is like um, therapy for him. You know, working on his movement, and um, so um, and that kind of prompted me. You know, I've been reading Mark Cook's book, The First Hour for Men. Mm-hmm. You remember he was on our show. Uh, the guy from Lost in Space. And um, uh, the book is like a 30-day book. It's a guide to help you, like, establish your, your praying habits. You know, it's like the prayers are there for you. It covers finances, family, spouses, being single, all in the order. He got all in order for you. He was led by the Holy Ghost. So I was like, can't go wrong. So I really love it. It's really been really opening things up for me. I mean, I, I've been getting, like, a vibrant energy. Um it's like my seventh day reading it because I don't read it on the weekends. I always forget the book. But um, it prompted me to start a little movement with the radio staff. I said, look, we, we talk to millions of people, thousands of people every day. They listen to our shows, you know, according to Google and and uh, my reports that I get from um, uh, Facebook. You know, you're talking about thousands and thousands and thousands of people. I said, why not try to start a brotherhood, you know, because that's the problem, right. you know, that it starts with the head of the household. And a lot of times we do have a lot of our females at the head of the household, but you know, you got some brothers that just going through some stuff, but I feel like no matter what you're going through, cause you know, I admit, you know, it hadn't been a great year for me, 2017 dealing with this illness. Um, even though some other great things were happening, you know, the radio station has shown tremendous growth. My, my daughter just got into the her first choice of her college 
Um, and, and, you know, everything working out well. My son, he's in, he's in a scholarship program in high school. You know, it's like great things you want to see happen to your children, you know. Um, but it's like health. You know, health comes first. A lot of us don't look at it like that. We take it for granted for so, for so many years because you just, you know, you just say, hey, that's just an automatic thing. And um, so reading that book kind of like gave me like something like something really important to do you know like like being like a civil rights leader or something you know you kind of want to have your purpose you know you i guess you know i guess i don't want to go out just being a radio host <laughs> you know but and you know maybe a movie i, mean, I guess you want to i mean you know um i guess you kind of want to leave your legacy and it's all how you present it, your pla- how you use your platform. You know, right. you are a radio host, so how do you use it? There you you don't just use it to interview guests. You use it yeah. to, you know, interview guests and that are, you know, established, some that mm-hmm. are not. Give them the opportunity. You know, you yeah. use it to talk about diabetes. You know, I guess it's all, you know, since I've started writing the anthology and getting that book together, um, I've been doing, like, a lot of research on pe- purpose. Mm-hmm. And it's really just how you use your platform. Sometimes yeah. you start off with this gift. But if you use it to help others, that's when it really makes a difference. That's right. And, that's, and that's, what, that's what I was thinking about, too, is like, you know, how can I really help the world? So I feel like if we can just get the brothers together, whether it's the brown brothers, the blue brothers, the, and, the, you know, the black brothers, you know, because our communities are in trouble right now. And, it, and the sign is the youth. And, you know, and, and, uh, and, uh, and we're going to have to get back to getting to our interview because uh, Ms. Sosa just jumped into the queue, Ms. Lorenko. Um, but real quick, it was what was so disturbing to me on the news the other day was it was a brother that was in his 40s tried to, ro- tried to rob a PNC store inside of a giant. What was he thinking? <laughs> then he tries to get away mm. in a big black SUV that looked like it weighs three, 4,000 pounds, probably 5,000 pounds. And he... He's chased by the police the whole time. It's like he can't escape them. You know, it's like, so is, wow. you know, is, it, is it that desperate time that somebody's going to take a chance like that? You know, he, he wasn't going to get away with that. You know, so, you know, I know he's frustrated probably because he can't find a job. He can't provide for anybody. You know, I don't know who's in his life, but I, that's where we are right now. So I think that if we can bring an a, 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 a international brotherhood together you know coming up with solutions building economic ideas being innovative together that somebody can help some people you know whether it's an artist networking people say hey come to my church come to my church now next thing you know he got a tour going on you know little small things like that can happen you know or everybody everybody buy his single and you're talking about if there's a million guys on that 10% pop buy it, he, he made a hundred thousand dollars you know, that's a great payday. So, you know, that's the kind of, that's the kind of, uh, that's what the spirit gave me, you know, see, so we can build this thing, you know, the million strong. Cause you know, my, my, uh, my, uh, conference thing holds a thousand visitors uh, alone and not counting, you know, we streaming on all these big major platforms. There's no reason why we shouldn't be able to build a powerful brotherhood. And, and Dr. Kelly has stepped up to the plate and said, he's going to help me. I got another brother. Uh, talked to the day I was actually in his conference call. He's actually we actually going to be trying to produce a show because he's been doing this for a while now. So uh, he actually here in the Baltimore area. So we might even we we were talking about producing him a television show right here in in, uh, in Wayne Manor Studio. All right. So, oh. so that's that's been on my heart. So we're gonna see what you know where God leads us. All right. We got we got Miss Phyllis Sosa Lorenco in the. I hope I pronounced her name correctly. Now, I'm not going to read her bio. I'm going to let her come ahead and tell us all about herself. What's up, Miss Phyllis? Welcome to Positive Power, Double XI. You're talking to Jerry Boys Live Worldwide and Phil. Um, I was going to say Phyllis. And Patrice. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? Thank you. Thank you for having me on your show. It's a pleasure. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. So glad to have you. So Phyllis, um, Phyllis um, we joined by Patrice. She's from I Am A Superwoman Radio. She She's here with me every Wednesday. She's going to help me interview you. Okay? Sound good? Oh, thank you. All thank right. you. Hi, Phyllis. All right. So Hello. Bef- so before we play your song and we start to talk, let's, let's, let's give you a chance to tell everybody about yourself. I'm not going to just sit here and read your bio. We're going to let you tell us your story. So the platform is yours. We got you until 10 o'clock. So relax, enjoy yourself, have fun. 
So the first question is, who is okay. Phyllis? <laughs> who is Phyllis Sosa Lorenko? Is that correct? Yes, you actually felt, you actually said it right. <laughs> amen, amen. All right, so tell us who are you? Well, I am 27 years old. I live currently in Rhode Island, and I am a messianic slash Christian artist. Um, I have written music based on scriptures for as long as I can remember. So I, I'm just a musician right now at the moment. Um, I'm waiting for the Lord to open up many doors for me. Amen. And I released my album earlier in the year, in August. And right now, I'm doing my best to just distribute it all over the world so that people can be blessed with the music because I believe that music is a powerful gift that God created to bless His people. So my belief is just to minister to people with my music. So. I'm just a young musician from Rhode Island, very small state, <laughs> but uh, my goal is just to share my music with everyone because I know there's a lot of people that are broken out there and that they need healing, and I've always loved playing music as a child, and so I can play different types of instruments, but I really love worship music, so my album that is released is, if you listen to it, it's mainly just worship because I feel like sometimes in life you go too fast and sometimes you need to slow down to actually really focus on God. Mm -hmm. So I created a worship album so that people can have that moment with God where they can take that time and spend that time with him to better their relationship with him. Amen. You're so right. And, you know, I'm going to tell you, Patrice and I, we've been experiencing some, some awesome independent art. I was just telling my manager last night, she is an artist that sings like an angel. And she was actually here in my studio. We, we have a show called Blacked Out Live. And I told her, I'm, I think this Christmas holiday, I'm just going to sit and chill and just listen to just close my eyes and listen <laughs> to her music and just fall in love with it. You know, just fall in love with God, you know, and that's, and that's what it's supposed Amen. to be, you know. That's awesome. All right. Well, we appreciate you sharing it with us, and we know we got you got a lot more to tell us. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to play your song, and this one I think is called Everything Is Yours. Is that correct? Yes. All right. And then we're going to go right into It's Only You That Matters. So we're going to play them back-to-back. -back. So it's going to be back-to-back -back on Double XI Christian Media. All right? You're talking to Jarvis Live okay. Worldwide. All right. And we come back after we Thank listen you. to this song, you're going, you're, going, you're going to talk about the music, okay? All right, so here we go. Everything okay, thank you. you. You're welcome. Here we go. Pierce my heart Break down these walls I put up And surround me Just surround me I don't want to go another day seen your face cause I will miss everything about you I met you on that very cold day I was so amazed by the way that you talked to me 
You're back with Double XI Christian Media. Jerry was live worldwide. That's right. Positive power. Feel the power. All right. This is late night. Wow. Another artist trying to make it, trying to make Batman cry on the show. Mm. Patrice. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Patrice. You got a question for Miss Phyllis? Um, Phyllis, can you pronounce your album, the name of your album, and album, and tell us what it means? Okay, the name of the album is actually Adonai. It is a Hebrew name for God. It's just another name for God. And the reason why I named it Adonai is because that song was one of my first songs that I've written that was uh, Messianic. So it was really important for me to put that out there because I sometimes write a lot of Christian music, but when there's times when I write Messianic where it's mainly based on scriptures. It's very important to me. So I named my album Adonai. So it's something that even the Jewish people out there can relate to. Mm-hmm. All right. Amen. Thank you for explaining that to me. That's right. Awesome. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful music. So tell us about that That first piece, Everything Is Yours. Tell us about that. When yes, that. I've written that song. It's, It's kind of like contemporary Christian because I am very poetic when it comes to music writing. So I've written that song years ago. I mean, really years ago. And it surfaced when I was starting to write the rest of the album. And I was asking God, which song should I put on the album? And that one came on my mind because really everything that we have is God. It's for God. You know, like the lyrics of the song where it says, everything is yours, my body, my tears, my love. Truly, everything is for God. At the end of the day, everything that we have is truly His. So it's mainly like a love song. So I've 
I've tried to write it in a way where other people can relate to it where they when they first had their first encounter with God. So I wrote it like, so I met you on that very cold day. Those are the lyrics of the song. But just to be more realistic so that people can relate to it. Mm-hmm. Awesome. And also you, 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 you call yourself Meaningful Worship. What does that mean to, to you? That name, actually, I've had to pray for that name for a very long time because my name is actually so 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 Lorenzo, but I really wanted a stage name where I know that it's truly, like, for sure, for sure, has to do with God. Because when you're in the Christian, like, industry, a lot of people try to put these certain names, and you have to be careful with what names you put on yourself because there's, Life and death is in the power of the tongue. So you have to pick the right type of name for yourself. So I've asked God so many times for a name, so many times. Mm-hmm. And I said, God, please. I said, I really like worship music. So please give me something <laughs> that is, this is exactly how I said I said, that is actually meaningful to you. And it just clicked. I said, okay, meaningful worship. Mm-hmm. And it just always sat with me ever since. Yeah, awesome, beautiful. Yeah, you got to have a stage name. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> got to have exactly. a stage name. That's right. All right, Patrice, you got another question for our guest? Um, yes. Um, so when did you realize that you won? I know you said you have been playing music and um, instruments since you were a kid. But when did you know you wanted to share with the world and become an actual musical artist and record your albums and things like that? The first time I actually realized that was, I believe, when I was most likely 18. Um, I didn't live such a perfect life, you know, when you're at your teens, you're very rebellious. <laughs> um, but during that time, I didn't really was close to God at that time, and I had to build that relationship with him. And it was very hard to build that relationship with him because when you're at that age, you want to fit in with the stuff of the world. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when God removes you from the stuff of the world, you feel like you don't have anything. And I had to realize that all that I have is in God. So I had to dedicate my music back to him because before I wasn't writing nowhere near Christian music or Messianic music. I used to sing all different sorts of stuff. <laughs> but I had to ask God, you know, to help me to dedicate my music to him so I can really have the desire to write what he really wants me to write. So the first time I realized that God was really giving me something great to work with was when he was giving me the words easily. Sometimes there are days where I just get the words. Other days I just get the melody. Or sometimes God speaks in my dreams because the Lord can speak in dreams Mm -hmm. and he decided to give me certain things in the dream or sometimes in the physical. And I, and sometimes I think, okay, this has to be from God. This can't be from any other source. So I dedicated my first guitar that I've, that I've got. And I said, I'm going to dedicate this to you and every other instrument that comes after this one and all of my music will be dedicated to you. And ever since I've been writing music, I have, like, a binder full of songs, which are one day probably going to be on an album. Um, but I, ever since I've just been writing music, I dedicated all, all, all of what I do is for God now. I can't depend on anything else. Mm-hmm. Amen. That's Amen. Now, now, I was reading that, um, you know, in your bio that you sp- you own your own studio, so you spend a lot of time writing, producing, and recording your own music. Um, do you do any live performing? I haven't performed live. That's actually one of the things that I'm waiting for um, because I've recently uh, signed with the One Nation on the God Records and I'm just hoping that door is open for me. I don't want to jump too fast into something unless the Lord leads me. So whatever doors are open, I'm, I'm very excited to do that because it's been a while, been a while since I've sung live. But I'm really hopeful and excited for it. Yeah. I think um, the independent gospel industry has really, um, is really moving forward right now. I think the help of the Internet has really helped a lot of artists, you know, that, 
you know, they like winning awards and being nominated and really getting their name out there. And there's a lot of quality, good quality radio shows out there now. So, so a lot of the listeners are starting to get familiar with you guys, just like, you know, the secular world, uh, even a lot of the back backup yep. singers to some of those artists are now independent gospel artists. So they making a name for themselves, you know, on their own. So um, I say kudos to you. All right. All Thank right. you. <laughs> hey, man. All right. So you got another question for Patrice? Uh, so uh, where can we find your music? And 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 are you on? Is, are you on social media? Yes, I I run a page called Meaningful Worship on Facebook. This is like my main uh, page because I don't have a website yet. But on that page, I share uh, scriptures, you know, quotes, music. Um, any type of thing that God puts in my heart. <laughs> and my album information is on there, but if anybody's interested, they can just find me on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, and I think uh, CD Baby. Yeah, so the links yeah, are on my, yeah. on my Facebook page. Yeah, I just dropped it on the link. For those uh, our listeners that's checking us out on Facebook Live, I just dropped Spotify and the links to iTunes, Apple. So if you want to get her album, support the artists. It's right out there for you now. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. So we're looking forward to um seeing you perform live. Um, like I said, there's a lot of activities going on, and I guess everything that's been happening mostly so far has been in the South, like North Carolina, South Carolina, Florida, Baltimore. Oh it's yeah, been really lively in this area for independent gospel artists. Thanks to some of the uh, the radio stations that are that are really social media driven, so uh, you know exactly. So, yeah, so we wish you a, lo- a lot, and, and I think Brian is really great when it comes to reaching out to radio stations. So I'm, I know we're going to see you out there. We do a lot of red carpet events when uh, when the award shows are happening. It's quite a few big ones out there now. It's making a lot of noise. So you know, sometimes we all don't get nominated, but it's still good to make you know to appear at some of those. Make those events get get a chance to meet some of those radio station owners and um, you know have some fun and network. You know, so we look forward to meeting. You. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. That's actually one of my hopes is to get out there as much as I can to minister to people because I'm not really looking for fame, but I know in this type of industry it does come with it. Mm-hmm. Uh, right. But my my desire have always been to minister to people. My mom has always always told me that my music will heal people, you know, of anything. So I truly believe that. So I know that when God has something for me, no man can say no to it or they can't close it. Once God opens the door, it's a hundred percent all the way for you. That's right. So I, I'm actually excited for the things that are going to come. And sometimes you just have to see things before you see it. You have to have that faith to know that it's going to happen. Yeah, man, that's right. Stay faithful. All right, so we're going to play. We still got Amen. a couple more minutes left, so we're going to go ahead and play Everything Is Yours. And that's the first piece we played early. For those that are just coming into the show, we're talking to Phyllis Sosa Larenko, and her song is called, and she called herself Meaningful Worship. So look, look out for that name. So this piece is called Everything Is Yours. Here we go. My heart Break down these walls I put up And surround me Just surround me I don't want to go another day Without seeing your face Cause I will miss everything about you Cold day, I was so amazed by the way. 
Force Live Worldwide Podcast. All right, that was Meaningful Worship. All right, we got a couple more minutes to talk to her. Don't forget, everybody, get your guys out. It's right, 10 o'clock on Saturday. Me and Dr. Paul Kelly will be hosting. That's right, Next Man Up. Next Man Up, brand new male summit. It's inspirational. It's going to be music. We're going to have speakers. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be some dialogue, find out how we can straighten out what's going on in our streets, our neighborhood, our community, our jobs, our schools, you name it, and our police force, <laughs> the name of few. All right, we're talking a meaningful worship. All right, love that music. All right, now the other piece you got called. Thank it's, you. It's, it's, you're welcome. It's only you that matters. Who are you talking about? Jesus. Oh, well, this song, I, it's kind of weird that everybody keeps picking this song. It must be uh, a divine moment because this song is actually one of my favorite songs of the album. It's, I wrote this song when I was having a really, really uh, hard time in my life. And sometimes the only way to write something is when you're actually going through struggles in life and you get to that place in your life where you feel like, okay, is God listening? Mm-hmm. Is, does God care? You know, is, is this a God that wants this to happen to me? So I have many questions with God. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to put it in a song, how I feel, mm-hmm. how I feel in my heart. So I've written that song. It's an emotional song for me. And every time I hear it, my eyes water because it was an emotional time for me in my life. And I just wanted to give God the glory for at least taking me out of the storms in my life. So it's more like a gratitude to God, telling him that it's only you that matters in my life, no matter what happens around me or whatever that stands. Even if God is not talking, but he's not absent, he's Mm -hmm. still there. Mm -hmm. Wow. You feeling that? Feeling that, Patrice? You said, am I feeling it? Yeah, you feel it. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's so true. Like when she said that even though he's not saying nothing, he's still there. You know, exactly. that's true. But sometimes you feel like, does he hear me? Is he listening? But then when that blessing show up, you're like, oh, he was listening. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. He's here. <laughs> exactly. That's why I, I wrote that song because I want people to really understand that if they really knew who God is, and who they and who they are in God, then they wouldn't be so consumed by the things of the world. They will actually be consumed by God, and they wouldn't have to worry about the worries because because God tells us in His Word that if I can take care of the birds in the sky, if I can take care of all things, what what makes you think that I can't take care of you? Mm-hmm. So I truly believe that this song somehow will reach all different platforms and touch those that feel like they're broken and feel like they're lonely because I want them to know that God is real and anyone that's listening if you don't know Jesus please accept him as your savior because today might be your last day Mm. and he truly wants to have a relationship with you that's right he does he loves you that's right beautiful that's real do you have a whole album out right now Yes, I have my entire album out. It's eight songs. So I, the whole album is mainly worship music. You might just get one in there that's a little up-tempo, mm-hmm. but the whole album is worship because I want people to really get a moment where they can slow down and really dwell in his presence. Mm, I need it. You know, it's like it's almost like mind therapy. You know, this kind of music. Cause exactly. Just, just listening to you just bring that angelic sound to our ears and you kind of just want to close your eyes and forgive me, y'all, but maybe like a half a glass of wine, you know, your favorite. <laughs> you know, you just Hey, there. whatever floats your boat. That's right. Sit in your favorite chair and just be in the dark, maybe with one candle lit or whatever. And I was just telling my manager, you know, that's exactly what I'm going to do this holiday. I'm going to take some me time and just, you know, just listen to this exactly. beautiful music and just chill. You know, no Christian rap. You know, just take that hour or two 
you know, and just listen to you guys. Oh, I'm gonna build myself a nice playlist. That's gonna be my treat. That's that's gonna be my Christmas present to myself. <laughs> Seriously, you your know. holiday gift. That's right. We could we need it because a lot of us been really grinding hard, and like you said, a lot of people been going through a lot. Sometimes you just gotta take some time out just so you can hear him. A lot of us we can't hear him because we we got too much noise. Too much noise going. Exactly. On. Sometimes people are too busy. And they they think that God is not saying nothing, but God always speaks in in everything. Yeah, it just happens to be like, are you listening? Mm-hmm. That's the perfect perfect music for something to hear him because it's it's not a lot of noise. You kept the tunes like right in a line, so you can hear him if he's talking to you. You know. So that's perfect. Exactly. We appreciate you um, sharing it with us, and I hope we can get your permission to keep it in our playlist, if you don't mind. Oh, thank you. That means a lot to me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right. So um, any final thoughts? Um, next man up, superstar coming up at 10 o'clock. You've just been listening to Phyllis Sosa Levinko. So any final thoughts for tonight's show, Ms. Phyllis? Well, I, it is a pleasure to to be on your show. I am really grateful, and I pray that God enlarge your territories and bless you with favor. Same with the other person that was speaking to me. I'm sorry I didn't get your name, but I, I am praying that the Lord blesses you mightily, uh, mightily and just continue to work in your life and that God is going to open doors for you, and, and don't worry about anything. God has it in control. That's right, that's right. So hold on one second. I got one final question for you. And I know you're new to the okay. platform, so hang in there. Last question is, did you feel the power? Did you feel the power? <laughs> you still there, fellas? Yes, you didn't hear me. Yes. Oh, did you feel? Okay, all right. Patrice Jackson. <laughs> I'm sorry, my- did you feel the I'm power? Sorry, my phone is a little bit crazy. <laughs> oh, okay, no problem. But look, we hope you will stay with us and, and uh, chime in some time. We always have a lot of artists drop by into Facebook Live and listen to us. Catch us on Spreaker Radio. So we hope you're hanging there with us and, um, and be able to network so the listeners can get to know you and know your music. All right, so hang in there with us. Thank you. All Thank right. you so much. You're welcome. This is the radio station. That's right, international. All right, everybody, everybody, everybody. So next up is Superstar. I think it's a Superstar Richards. He's up next. Somebody just hit me up on Facebook. I find out who it is. All right, let's take a quick break. We're going to listen to um, her music one last time. And, and that one that she was just talking about called It's Only You That Matters. And I'm going to try to get um, Mr. Superstar straight. All right, so take care, everybody. Hold tight. Keep it locked on Positive Power, Double XI Christian Media. Right now, show me a glimpse of your glory. Show me the beauty of your love. Show me more of you. Presence 
podcast. All right, family. Thank you for tuning in. I see some new names popping in Facebook Live. Appreciate you guys. Maybe you guys been listening to us on Spreaker. Don't forget to check us out on Spreaker Radio. Just search Jerry Voice Live. We got a live feed there. Also, we have about maybe a good 20 podcasters, over 5,000 hours of, of radio. That's right, 5,000 hours. You can download it. If you are on plane mode or offline, just download it, and you have plenty of music that lasts you for some time. That's right. You got Lation Radio, Serenity Radio Network. You got some of three, um, Storm Talk 365 with Miss Benita Claiborne. You got, uh, you got a lot of um, Paula G., Joyce the Faith Walker, and Patrice Jackson, and I right here, and Tina and Tina Hobson. I am a Superwoman Radio. All right, y'all. Next up is Superstar. He called himself, let's see, let's, let's hit him up a little bit, see what he got in here. He called himself superstar, doesn't consider himself as a gospel Christian rapper, but, whoop, I need some music. All right. Superstar doesn't consider himself as a gospel Christian rapper, but more as a believer that God gave the gift of music and lyrics to. His intent is not to teach Christians, but rather people who don't believe in God or just don't know who he is. He doesn't hold his tongue while he's saying how he feels in his music about his situation. His true stories, his hard beats are what make him the lyricist he has become. He is a hip-hop fan himself. He is a hip-hop fan himself, and he keeps hip-hop genuine in his passion. All right, so tell you what, let's come out hard playing this song. And it's the superstar pound JWWM. Here we go. I ain't here to argue about his facial features. I'm here to convert atheists into believers. I'm just trying to say the way school needs teachers, the way Catholic need it regions, that's the way I need Jesus. So here goes my single dog, Radio Nistas. They teach us to rap about anything except for Jesus. That means gun sets, lies, videotapes. But if I talk about God, my record won't get played, huh? So this may take away from my spins, which will probably take away from my ends. But I hope it take away from my sins and bring the day that I'm dreaming about next Time I'm in the club, everybody screaming out. 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 I put my pen to my pad to express these thoughts Only prayer that I pray is that I don't get caught Picture me 14 walking a road that's dark With a pistol on my waist and no fear in my heart About to betray everything that I know I've been taught Just trying to show my big brother I'm tougher than when we fought I know my mom is praying, I know my daddy is gone Sister's a bit too young, so I'm walking alone A black teen in America, I need some protection So I went and bought a gun, now I need some direction A young Trayvon I'm wearing my hoodie at night I invented this stereotype that ended his life To his mother and father, I hope you're hearing this kite I'm the thoughts, women, my haters, seeing none of the lights J. Cole, I trust the price of a black man's life I don't know, but I'm sure About to roll these dice so I can get that ice And I can live that life I'm on my ball, ball, yo, my price is right Trying to make sure I sell to everything in sight I'm in these streets tonight, my mama singing devotion I'm missing my dad, but I can't show no emotion It's penis, how I keep my head through I all this commotion as I exit the game, I see these youngers get in. As I look in their eyes, it's like I'm viewing my twins. God, would you cover these babies? Forgive their sins. This game today is taking places even I never been. We don't think consequence, we just trying to win. Society attacking me, I'm just trying to defend. Below the poverty line, tired of him, I'm a crime. So I hit the grind just so I can feed mine. Plan to get back to your will, but God in the meantime, please accept my soul case, is my body they find. Everybody screaming out. Everybody screaming out. Everybody screaming out. Everybody screaming out. I say create no smoke and using this lines, but she is what I need you to do with this time. I pray create no smoke for using this lines, but she is what I need you to do with this time. Didn't wanna be like my dad and felt the way he said. So imagine how I feel seeing my kids on the weekend. Wanted to love their mother, I ain't know how to love me. Kept the outside fresh, inside I was ugly. My emotions was numb from things I thought I'd overcome. Turns out it were the things that I actually ran from. As I sit in this lap with this weed in his hand, I'm thinking about going back to the game that I ran from. Just want a better life. 
for my mama grandsons They need new shoes and don't nobody wear and ones My daughter at the age now where she need tampons Life getting real, yo, gotta put the clamps on Trying to give her the gains between a man and a dog That's kind of difficult when you the one in the fall She looking by a sample, but how I treat her mama right now All she see is the back and forth drama Late nights and fights, I'm sleeping on the couch A couple months later, daddy moving out the house It's hard to trust anything coming out my mouth I can explain it all, that if you hit me out Feel like I lost my fam trying to chase my dreams I was never my intention, know how fake that seemed All I wanted in life was to rock the mic The dream turned nightmare when I lost my wife Some my advice, well won't you go back You don't understand it's more complicated than that You can't undo these, no matter the sorrows and pleas And it's killing my heart, cause it's affecting my seeds But I can't quit now, this is how I breathe And if I quit now, what's my legacy when I leave? So on that note, am I a selfish man? If so, I pray to God that my kids understand And everybody's screaming out Everybody's screaming out Everybody's screaming out Everybody's screaming out I pray Kanye don't stop me using this time But she is what I need you to do with this time I pray Kanye don't stop me using this line But she is what I need you to do with this time I ain't here to argue about his facial features I'm here to convert atheists into believers I'm just trying to say the way school needs teachers The way Catholic really needed readers That's the way I need Jesus So here goes my single dog radio needs this It keeps the rapper by anything except for Jesus That means gun sets, lies, videotapes But if I talk about God, my record won't get played, huh? You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast Wow that was hot. Superstar. Yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, What's up, welcome. man? What's up, yo? What's up, brother? Welcome to Double XI Christian Media. Man, that was hot, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right, you ready for the first question? It's about you. Yes, yeah, sir. What's up? All right, the first question is, who is Superstar? Who is he? Tell us all about him. Ah, uh, man. Superstar is... The, it's, He's not what the name suggests, man. Superstar is a laid-back guy, a guy that's been through, you know, his fair share of trials and tribulations, and he just has a story to tell, man, and he just want to tell the story in a way that people that might be struggling to find their way might be able to hear something in, in what God has given Superstar to be able to help them, you know, make it to the next place in their life. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's, that's, that's it in a nutshell. <laughs> well, so where you from, brother? Where you from? Um, I'm out of, I'm Greenville, South Carolina, man. Um, we're a small town called Taylor's man. And that's where I reside at now. So, but, um, we, we trying to, we trying to put it on the map. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You sound, you from up North. So were you born there? Uh, I was born in, I was actually born in Fulton County, Georgia. I just have a lot of family. Um, uh, I do have a lot of family, you know, up North New York mm-hmm. around that area, but nah, me personally, I'm, I'm born and raised in the South. All right, amen. All right, we joined by Miss Pro Savvy Patrice Jackson. She's gonna help me with a round of questions. So, are you ready, Patrice? Yeah, I am. All right. Yeah. Um, so my question is: I know you said in your bio it shows that you want to reach people who don't know about God. What has been the feedback with that? What do people, you know, what do they say when they listen to your music? Um, you know, for the most part, thank God I've gotten positive feedback on. Um, you know, from almost majority of the people that has heard my music is, is giving me positive feedback. And the reason my purpose is so for um, the people who don't necessarily, and I don't want to say they don't, they don't know God, at all, but the, for those who might be struggling in that area, it's because um, I, I was born and raised in church. And, I, you know, I've done some things outside of the quote unquote will of God. And so I just want to extend that hand to, to those who might feel us that's still on outside of that that will. And, and that's my purpose is to reach those who we may consider, uh, you know, lost and whatnot. All right. Amen. All right. That's, that's real. <laughs> hey, Patrice, he said a lot. He said, said a lot. He's right. Like, yeah. you know, sometimes people are scared to interact with, you know, mm-hmm. Christians because they feel like as soon as they open their mouth or tell their story, they may be judged. When they got somebody who say, I understand, mm-hmm. you know, that's important. That's right. Because you said a lot in that in that song, man. Um, what is that called? Yes, sir. Is that called, does you, is that called 
Is that titled Pound J W W M? Yes, sir. It's it, Pound Jesus Walk with me. Oh. Um, and uh, it, it's just something. You listen. I'm an old school cat, but you know sometimes you have to find new ways to reach this new generation. So I just I decided to hashtag all the titles to the project I'm working on, mm-hmm. and you know it kind of gives a little suspense. And, and you can put your own title to it. Yeah. You know I mean, you whatever title you want to put to it, you can't. Um, and, and you know that's why I did it. Just just trying to be creative and find a new way to to put put the the music God has given me out there. Yeah, because cause you said a lot in that song, man. I mean, you talked about, you know, the baby mama drama, your, your daughter witnessing, you know, y'all relationship yes, issues. And um, so you wrote about it. So so what are you doing about it? Um, You know, unfortunately for that situation, um, you know, we didn't survive. It, the relationship didn't work out. But I learned so much from it. And the, the one of the most important things I learned from it was to be honest with myself um because if you listen to the the beginning of the second verse it says um i didn't want to be like my dad and feel the way he said um and because i wasn't honest honest with myself i repeated the same mistake he made um because i didn't open up and say hey i have these issues going on um and then having your own issues and then trying to lead a family and you know you you teach out of what you are you know, so if you're not free, you're not going to teach freedom. If you're bound, you're going to teach bondage and not even really mean to, but because that's what you are, that's what you teach from. And it wasn't until I went through all of this, you know, that you hear in the song that I begin to understand, you know what, I got to face this. I got to face this man in the mirror. And um, when I began to do that, and as I began to do that, you know, things have become, things have become better. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's the main thing, man. When you walk with, when you walk with Christ, you know, that's one of the things you want to pray for is to become a better man. You know. Yes, sir. You're not gonna do yes, sir. no good if you're not feeling good about yourself. You know, it's a lot of love. You're right. All right, all right, Patrice. Now we're he only gave us the one the one single, so we don't have anything else to share with our listening audience tonight. But uh, we appreciate that song absolutely. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you for playing it. You're, you're welcome. He can be found on Instagram, Superstar2414, Facebook, Superstar Porn, and Twitter, Superstar2414. So hit him up. I'll make sure I yes, put Facebook's everybody. He can be part of your fan club. All right, Patrice, you got another question for our guests. Um, so what's next for you? Um, I'm asking what I'm, I'm – uh, I do have music. I do have other music on um, on Google Play, iTunes, um, title all of that. Um, I do have a previous project I did called CM Two Between the Church and the Streets. Um, it's it's all on online. Um, and right now I'm working on um, a project called Three Sides to a Story. Um, and it's just me opening up, me being very transparent and telling, um, you know, even more about even more than what you heard on that track. Um, and so that's that's what's in the works now. Um, I'm actually shooting the the music video to um, Jesus Walk with Me. I'm shooting that this coming Sunday. So you know, of course, be on the lookout for that. That probably should be dropping. I say between Christmas and New Year's Day. Awesome! Oh wow! Well, congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. Yeah, now I asked uh, my guest before you performing. Where can people find you? Are you performing right now? Or are you looking to perform in 2018? Um, I'm looking to to perform in 2018. I'm doing stuff. I'm doing. I've I've done a few shows here and there. Nothing major as of as of yet. But um, I'm always looking for for new venues to to be able to show up and share the gift that God gave with me with His people. That's right. Now you say you're in a small town. So are you? You know, do you guys like? I know a lot of small towns are really good about given events like festivals and everything that everybody turn out, you know, are you kind of known to, you know, your community is just, you know, little Jay or, uh, you know, Mr. Justice or whatever, or they know you're a superstar. Uh, I, I, they, man, I got so many names. Sometimes it's hard to, I don't even know which one to answer to around here, man. You know, cause this is home. Yeah. And so everybody know you, you know, uh, this, this is where God is, has raised me at. And so, yes, I, I, it, I am fortunate to say I do have a, you know, a quite a, a good bit of a following here at home, and I'm blessed for that. 
Um, and, and I do do stuff around my hometown. Of course, you got to stay true to who raised you and what raised you. Um, so I do have a, a good following around here. Most people just know me, um, as, you know, as, as justice. And, you know, it, it's not about really people calling me superstar. That's just the stage name God that, that God gave me. And the, the purpose of, of superstar is, is for me to lead them to the real superstar. Yeah. So I deflect a lot because um, when people hear a person on a main, you know, named superstar, it's like, well, who do you think you are? What you doing? You know, but the whole purpose of that is to lead people to the to the real superstar. It's to get them thinking. I, I like when people ask questions mm-hmm. because that gives me a chance to tell them the meaning behind. That's right. That's right. Hey, hey, Patrice, do you remember um that movie that was called Jesus Christ Superstar? You remember that? Mm, I never seen it, but I do remember the movie. Yeah, I never watched it either. I remember the song, you know. I mean, uh, the movie. <laughs> I know a lot of people. The soundtrack. You know, it. Yeah, but I never watched it. Like, okay, maybe we should pull it up and see if it's on Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a that's right. A, I'm sure it is. Yeah, cause that's a very powerful name because you know that's what I'm thinking about when I saw it. I, I associated that with Christianity and thinking about that movie, Jesus Just Christ that. Superstar. Yeah. You know, did that come to light? You know, when you chose that handle? Nah, um, actually, it was given to me uh, by my aunt. Uh, and the reason it stuck with me is because uh, I was, I was, it was at another time when I was, I was going through something and I was really struggling with my self identity. And um, she pulled me to the side and she said, from, from this day forward, I'm going to call you superstar because God has put something great in you. And I know you might be struggling with who you are now. But one day you're going to understand why I'm, why I'm calling you that. And as I grew more and more in my walk with God and everything, it, it you know, it, it became more evident. And every day it becomes more evident. It's because, you know, he's the real superstar. And if I live my life the way he wants me to live, people will see him through me. You know, that's really the purpose of being, you know, a quote unquote Christian is that we live our lives to a point where people see him through us because we're the only God a lot of people are going to see on the earth. Yeah, amen. Yeah, that's true. The best life, the best way to preach is with your life. Right. Yes, ma'am. That's, that's right. All right, we're gonna we're gonna play uh that's play your single one more time. But before we play that, Patrice, you got another question for our guest before we play your single? Um, no, no. But he told us what's next, so I'm excited to see what's coming and what's gonna release in um you know the coming weeks or months. Yeah, yeah. Now, now, Patrice, now, Patrice, I don't know if you remember, but we had um, uh, Mr. ATL on here before, <laughs> and I got a chance to catch his performance live. The superstar, he was he was up on stage doing backflips. <laughs> can, can you do a backflip? Oh, wow. <laughs> that energy. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm gonna be honest. If if you come to one of my shows looking for me to do a backflip, man, you know you, you might well say your time, man. I. I done got a little too old to be doing bats with some stuff, man, you know? <laughs> That's right. I hear you. I hear you. But, you know, um, one of the things I must say, I really miss the way rap, you know, like, I'm not going to say street rap, but rap music used to be, you know, when they were really talking yes, about sir. the yes, true sir. game, you know, the real hustling. Because, yes, you know, I, you know, me and my friends, we grew up, you know, we, we had those those, those yeah, boys yeah. that – that didn't have the two parent household and they had to do the best they can, you know, and yes, I remember sir. my mom, yeah. you know, providing lunch. I would bring those guys home and she would bring, you know, fix lunch and everything for everybody. And I remember when they got older, they didn't go in the same direction, but we all were still friends. And, and it, so when they, yes, when sir. they, so when they, when they wrote their poetry or when they wrote their lyrics, that's, that's what you heard that, that, that struggle, you know, and yes, the, sir. And the Christian yes, rappers are doing that today. I mean, we kind of like starting to, the other rappers starting to be a little bit more too, well, what's that word? <laughs> I can't even find a good word. But we know what we're talking about with the Lamborghini type lifestyle. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, the big houses and all that. But but the, the Christian rappers yes, are starting to bring it, bring the true rap. And I think that's why the young kids are starting to love it. Because I'm hearing up north, it's really growing popular up north. Of course, things are hard up north right now, you know, with a lot of the cities yeah. going bankrupt and there's no money for programs for the kids. It's just a concrete jungle. You know, unlike you guys, yes, you know, being, growing up in the country, 
you know, we just pull out our dirt bikes and our BB guns and our rifles and went hunting or fishing. <laughs> yeah. You know, we had a ball the weekend. It just went enough days in a week. But, up, you know, when you're in a yeah. big city, if you don't have no, most likely your bike probably got stolen and your skate bike was stolen, you don't really have nothing to yeah. do. You know, they're not their creator. They, they, they can't pull out and play marbles. You know, they don't play hopscotch no more because, you know, you got gunfights in the streets. None of that stuff. Yes, sir. You know, Skelly. You know, all them fun night games and, you know, all those hide-and-go-seek. They can't, they can't do that stuff. Yeah. So I can understand their you frustration. Right. So uh, with all that said, let's play, let's play this song. Here we go. JWWM. Hashtag. I ain't here to argue about his facial features I'm here to convert atheists into believers I'm just trying to say the way school need teachers The way Catholic need it reaches That's the way I need Jesus So here goes my single dog radio needs this They teach us to rap about anything except for Jesus That means gun sets, lies, videotapes But if I talk about God, my record won't get played, huh? So this may take away from my spins Which will probably take away from my ends But I hope it take away from my sins And bring the day that I'm dreaming about That's Time I'm in the club, everybody's screaming out. 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 I put my pen to my pad to express these thoughts Only prayer that I pray is that I don't get caught Picture me 14 walking the road that's dark With a pistol on my waist and no fear in my heart About to betray everything that I know I've been taught Just try to show my big brother I'm tougher than when we fought I know my mom is praying, I know my daddy is gone Sisters a bit too young, so I'm walking alone A black teen in America, I need some protection So I went and bought a gun, now I need some direction A young Trayvon wearing my hoodie at night I invented this stereotype that ended this life To his mother and father, I hope you're here in this kite I'm the thoughts, women, my haters, seeing none of the lights J. Cole asked what's the price of a black man's life I don't know, but I'm sure About to roll these dice so I can get that ice And I can live that life I'm on my ball, ball yo, my price is right Trying to make sure I sell to everything in sight I'm in these streets tonight, my mama sang in devotion I'm missing my dad, but I can't show no emotion It's tennis, how I keep my head through out all this commotion As I ask in the game, I see these youngers get in As I look in their eyes, it's like I'm viewing my twins God, would you cover these babies? Forgive their sins, this game today is taking places Even I never been We don't think consequence, we just trying to win Society attacking me, I'm just trying to defend Below the poverty line, tired of hearing mama crying So I hit the grind, just so I can feed mine Plan to keep back to your will, but God in the meantime Please accept my soul case, this is my body, they fine Jesus, Everybody's screaming out Everybody's screaming out. Everybody's screaming out. Everybody's screaming out. I say, create them so we're using this line. But Jesus, what I need you to do with this time. I pray Kanye don't talk for using this line But Jesus, what I need you to do with this time Didn't want to be like my dad and felt the way he said So imagine how I feel seeing my kids on the weekend Wanted to love their mother, I ain't know how to love me Kept the outside fresh, inside I was ugly My emotions was numb from things I thought I'd overcome Turns out they were the things that I actually ran from As I sit in this lap with this weed in his hand Gonna think about going back to the game that I ran from Just want a better life for my mama grandson they need new shoes and don't nobody wear and ones My daughter at the age now where she needs tampons Life getting real, yo, gotta put the clamps on Trying to give her the game between a man and a dog That's kind of difficult when you the one in the fall She looking my example, but how I treat her mama right now All she see is the back and forth drama Late nights and fights, I'm sleeping on the couch A couple months later, daddy moving out the house It's hard to trust anything coming out my mouth I can explain it all, that's if you hit me out Feel like I lost my family I'm trying to chase my dreams I was never my intention Know how fake that seemed All I wanted in life Was to rock the mic That dream turned nightmare When I lost my wife Some of that advice But won't you go back You don't understand It's more complicated than that You can't undo deeds No matter the sorrows and pleas And it's killing my heart Cause it's affecting my seeds But I can't quit now This is how I breathe And if I quit now What's my legacy when I leave So on that note Am I a selfish man? If so I pray to God That my kids understand And Everybody's screaming out Everybody's screaming out 
Everybody scream it out. Everybody scream it out. I pray Kanye don't stop me using this time. But this is what I need you to do with this time. I pray Kanye don't stop me using this line. But this is what I need you to do with this time. I ain't here to argue about his facial features. I'm here to convert atheists into believers. I'm just trying to say the way school needs teachers. The way Catholic needed readers. That's the way I need Jesus. So here goes my single dog radio needs this. It keeps the rapper by anything except for Jesus. That means gun sets, lies, videotapes. But if I talk about God, my record won't get played, huh? You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. All right, we're talking to Justice, a.k.a. Superstar. And we got Patrice Pro Savvy from I Am A Superwoman Radio. I'm Jerry Royce Live Worldwide, a.k.a. Batman of Charm City. Hey, Justice, anytime, you know, you can get your superstar car or airplane up this way, man. We'd love to get you in the studio, man, be part of our Blackout Live concert series, you know, bring your music through. And um, talk to Will do, will do. Yeah, if you up this way. Um, I had, a, I, had a, I had a big question for you before we was going to get out of here. Um, oh, who, who are some of your influences, man, you know, that's out there in the industry, you know, secular or Christian? Oh uh, man, I'm I'm a I'm a hip hop head, man. So um, I ain't gonna lie, man. I grew up listening to Jay Z, Nas, Eminem. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Lecrae is one of my favorites out now. It's definitely one of my favorites. Um, in today's hip hop, I will have to say Kendrick, Lamar, J Cole, and um, I I just I I'm like you, man. I need some. I need music that's gonna say something to me, man. Yeah. Um, like I said, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big hip hop head. So if the music ain't really, if it doesn't have a, some kind of message in there or, you know, if I can't identify with it, I ain't going to lie, man. I really can't even listen to it. That's just moving. being honest. That's right. Keep it moving. All right. Patrice Jackson, you got one final question for our guests. One final question. Um, no, I, I asked him a question. Like, you know, when I asked him, you know, what's next? So I really am. Um, clear i just wish um, that you have many blessings in your career and that everything goes well in 2018 for you and i look forward to seeing your music thank you thank you thank you thank you Amen. And uh, we keep our eye out for you, man, on Facebook, man. And like I said, uh, you get up this way anytime you got a performance going on up there, Baltimore, D.C., Virginia, you know, you're only a few minutes away. Just uh, shout out to us, man. See if we can get you in the studio, man. All right. Yes, sir. All right. All yes, right. sir. Thank you all so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. And we appreciate you being here and, you know, spread the word about our radio program to to the homies. I want to let you know, man, I'd love to get you on my new program. We got a new show called Next Man Up. We'd love to get you on there, man, to get your thoughts on, you know, what's going on and how you can influence a young man's you know, life, you know, what you're doing in your community to uh, spread your message. Yes, sir. So uh, we'll we'll give you we'll send you an invite. It's happening in two weeks. Our anniversary, everybody. It's right. Late night, positive power, double XI. Been around for well, late night hasn't been long that, around that long, but positive power twenty one dot org has been around for four years on December twenty one. So I de- I deliberately picked that date so, <laughs> so I can keep up with it. So um, <laughs> positive power is right. Four years this uh, this Saturday. So um, well, not this Saturday. Congratulations. Saturday. Two weeks, about a well, I guess a week and a half. Thank you, thank you, Patrice and Superstar. Appreciate that. Yep, it's been been a yes, grind. Sir. Definitely been a grind, and you know it. The music industry, the radio industry, TV, films, it's not easy, you know. But once you put your mind to it, you know, when God gifts you with something, and He give you favor, you know, you got you got to run with that torch. The fire has been lit, so we got to do what we got to do. All right, help our young people and save those who don't know his word yet. All right. All right, man. So if you, if you don't mind, would you, would you like to pray us out for tonight's show? I can. I can. Yeah, definitely. We appreciate it. All right. Yeah. Uh, Father, in Jesus' name, God, we thank you um, for, for this show, God. We thank you for giving them many years of success, God, as they continue to reach across the board. And um and help artists, Father. We we give we thank you for the gift that they are to you to the body of Christ. Now, Father, as we prepare to go our separate ways, God, we thank you that we will never leave your presence, God, but you will keep us. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. We definitely felt the power of tonight's show. Last question, superstar. Did you feel yes, the sir. power? Did you feel the power? Yes, that was, sir. Uh, he felt Most the power. Death. Patrice Jackson, did you feel the power? I felt the power. She felt the power. All right, don't get stuck out there in the snow out there in Cleveland. Ohio, are you listening to the show? Appreciate you guys. Shout out to our military. Also, our guys in blue, our ladies and guys in blue. We appreciate you guys what you do. For those of you who are doing the right thing, controlling our streets, keep you in prayer. And again, all our soldiers, we keep you guys in prayer. Our NFL players playing a hard combat sport, we keep you in prayer. Keep our streets in prayer, our young people, our schools, our teachers, our principals, our doctors, our boss. We keep you guys in prayer. All right, everybody. Take care. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Don't forget Thursday night. I'll be here with Mr. Jamal Bivens. That's right. You remember he was here with Ree and Blacked Out Live in the studio. That's right. He'll be here with his Christmas album. And also we got Fisher Hooks be here at 10 o'clock. So come on by and join us and hang out with me, Jerry Woods Live Worldwide, a.k.a. Batman of Charm City and Late Night Radio, right here on Positive Power 21.org, Speaker Radio, YouTube Live, and Facebook Live. Take care, have a good night. Peace. We love you. Hi, this is Nina Taylor from the Gospel News. You're listening to Positive Power 21 Christian Radio with Jerry Royce Live Worldwide. Hi, I'm Larry W. Robinson, host of Gospel Updates, your gospel entertainment news report. And you're listening to Positive Power 21 Christian Radio with Jerry Weiss, live worldwide. Can you feel the power? Can you feel the power? Feel the power of Double X. Worldwide Podcast. You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast. Show me the beauty of your love.
You are listening to Jerry Royce Live Worldwide Podcast.